Hey guys, this is the future home of Lawrenceville Garage in beautiful Sunset, Texas. Doesn't look like much now, a lot's happened in the past week. This was all full of trees. It's all been cleared out. We've got a path made for a drive to the main road. And we've already talked to uh, septic, water, and electricity today. And we're getting ready to talk to our potential builder again. We're still deciding between uh, a couple of guys. Right now, I'm getting really excited. This is going to be a lot of opportunity out here to build a 50 by 60 building. We can do a lot there, have multiple projects, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's where the shower and the commode and the little kitchen is going to be. Well, we spent the better part of a couple of days planning out the, the plumbing for the shop and this is ready to go except for water testing and we're getting ready to go get water and do that. Uh, the first two risers here are vents for the shop sink, bathroom sink, toilet, shower tub and then over to the right it's going to be a washing machine with a dryer next to that and uh, this is all dug down below or inside the beam I should say the beam is going to be about 10 inches wide and so I've got the clean out that's the tall one right there so everything will be underneath the four inch slab and within the beam okay we've got it filled with water it took about 11 gallons that's coming over from the washing machine this goes out inside the building there they'll go to the septic tank this will be our clean out. We'll trim that down later. Moving in this direction, uh, this will go to the tub shower. That's the commode. Bathroom sink and then uh, the other sink, uh, there'll be a wall in between and the shop sink will be on the outside of that. And now the plumbing is pretty much set in place. We used uh, Hardy to form a wall so that there's at least a 10 inch gap there for the beam. All the plumbing's in place, it's been water tested, it looks good. And this box is just to keep the area open uh, where the tub, tub drain is right here. And we need to reposition a little bit, we have some room to do that. Then we'll fill this in with a little dirt and concrete as well when we're done. Otherwise, we've got the, got the plumbing in. Now, would we have done it any differently? Yes. If I had it to do over again, and I know what I know now, we would have set this main line here about another foot in, maybe more, and then used angles to bring the, the vent pipes out. Uh, but we didn't know to do that. And nobody told us not to do it this way. And everything we've seen shows that this will work. It's just not laid out exactly the way I would have wanted it inside the building. But uh, we're going to build a faux wall on the inside anyway. So that uh, the inside of this will look a little nicer instead of it just being a regular steel wall. It's very windy today, but we finally got the foundation where it's ready to be poured. A few minor things need to be done before that happens, but in general, all the beams are dug and the steel's uh, reinforcements in place, and it all looks good. So, next few days, we'll get concrete poured. Today is a big day. As you can see, we're getting concrete. We'll get the foundation poured today. Here's number two out of what might be about seven trucks.
And that, my friends, is what we've been working on the past couple of months in the background. So the progress on the truck has been a little slower than I would have liked, and uh, we're going to get back on that. There's a lot of things going on right now uh, with the property and the distance I have to drive from where I'm at right now to the property, getting things organized. But uh, the construction of the actual building should begin approximately May 12th. Uh, I will have a new video out and we'll start covering the construction of the actual building along with the electrical that's going to go into it. So I appreciate you hanging with me, being patient. Uh, I'm looking forward to this new adventure and, uh, hope, and I hope you'll follow along as well. So thanks for your time. Appreciate you watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.